So guys, here we are with a, another UI video, this time in Dragonflight. Um, the last UI video I did in Wrath of the Lich King went down very well. We got uh, loads of views, loads of positive feedback. Um, I've also been streaming a little bit in Dragonflight on both my Warrior and my Druid. Um, and after a few requests, I'm, uh, I'm going to actually make a full video on how to make this UI. So this video is going to cover the principles on how to make this UI on any class. I'm going to show you what add-ons I use, what graphic settings I use, what interface settings I use, um, and so on. Obviously, you can make tweaks and you can customize this. You don't have to have your UI exactly like this. So there's my little disclaimer. So. First of all, I'm going to actually show you what add-ons I'm actually using and are actually on to make this look like this. Um, so, first of all, I just want to point out that I do use these two add-ons um, interchangeably between arenas um, and uh, rated battlegrounds. Um, everything else is left entirely the same. So, just so you can see what I've got on, obviously Omnibar as well is another one I turn on. Um, everything else that you can see ticked is everything I'm using and also deadly boss mods I, I do also have that so actually I'm not using that many um, add-ons and probably the biggest one that gives me a lot of this is SUI I think it's such a good add-on uh, I really strongly recommend people use it so first of all I'm gonna look at the my actual SUI setting so you pull this up by going to slash SUI and we're going to start off here uh, so my settings are basically this so in general we have theme dark font as SUI I do actually like to change this to uh, minimalist um, you can install other fonts too um, I do have a video in the, the discord that shows how to install fonts it's both the same for um, for uh, any version of World of Warcraft. Um, anyway, in here you have loads of nice um, little features like sell all grey items automatically, inserts delete, I mean it's stuff like this, you know why I really like this add-on. Uh, you know, repair automatically, you can add an FPS counter, take it off so you can take all them on. Uh, display error messages, display a nice screen while an FK, so the stuff like this, what I really like and it's just these small changes that really make a big difference. I think in my previous video, I was using Latrix Plus, um, and it kind of, this offers some interface benefits that um, that does too. So um, again here, unit frames, I've left a lot of this as the default, but I have changed some stuff. So you've got default, default, minimalist texture, I'm a big fan, um, and custom font size, I just leave that as disabled. I have my um, raid bars actually set to uh, 300 uh, by 350. Just let me try and show you. So yeah, you can see the size there. Um, just to uh, just so you can see how big the actual raid frames and they do stack down there. And again, my positioning of um, my my raid frames is is here. Keep everything centered. So if we go back into SUI. <coughs> continue down to uh, so we've got uh, unit frames nameplates set the bars um, above the head I'll show what they look like now actually so if I just go to um, go down to here uh, where you can see people and you can see what the nameplates look like because of the new update I have actually left um, the new update interface I have actually left um, a lot of things in um, so you can see there the color dependent on the class um, I have a nice black outline around them and I have the font and the percentage um, above the head just so um, just so you can see anyway so continuing on with um, SUI so action bars as you can see, hotkeys, text, macro text, flash animation. Um, I don't actually like this because when you turn this on, it actually blurs out um, a lot of the borders and it just looks way too much um, when you're actually pressing a spell. So, you know, you can see when I'm pressing that, well, when you normally do it, it will actually, like a, a 
a sparkled border will appear around it so I really don't wear that and again you can tick this and your cast bar will your experience bar will appear at the bottom cast bar uh, you know I just leave it as the default I mean you can have um, a custom one uh, I'm not sure what the custom part does but I just leave mine on default um, and then again you can set if you want the cast bar at the top or the bottom if you focus change the size there tool tool tip um i that's just as default again buffs you can have um so when you press this all your buffs stack up you can have a little drop down menu here that actually drops down all the buffs it can be nice if you're raiding um map i have coordinates ticked uh chat again just leave that as default um here shows dampening so i like that uh I, I like safe queue too um, <clears throat> and and this you can change this but I just leave it there and basically that's it um, then when you've got all them settings you do want to hit save reload the game so already just doing that this will turn all of your UI dark it will turn there'll be a nice dark little outline um, around there this is a main reason I have this UI but with all the updates it's gotten really really good um, and so far I'm I'm really happy um, with the add-on so um, the next add-on which I'm going to show you and I'm going to share all of these um, good to haves is um, Bagnon so if I go to add-on uh, sorry if I go to options add-on Bagnon so you can see here um, Bagnon is a uh, all-in-one so basically it it shows um, all of my bag space in one so what I like to actually do to to configure this if I just show you so if I open this up um, I like to do this uh, I mean I just kind of did that I, I like to actually turn my bag to to black um, so what you can actually do so background color reverse so reverse bag color border color you can actually turn that completely to black okay um, background color you can turn that completely to black like that put that up and then you've got a um, a nice kind of um, black background tea bag personally I just like it um, if you don't you know that's absolutely fine again everything else I leave as um, I leave as default I mean you know there are nice nice things like that um, you know you can do some stuff like that that's quite nice I might have that um, you know and then you've got these sort of things to uh, I tend to just leave that so that's how you make your bag dark if you're wondering um, I would recommend you do that um, next thing is sexy map again I don't mess too much with this all I do is um, under here I believe all I have is faded square and if I click OK you will get that and that is literally all I've done you can change the size of the map I tend to it around 1.25 that seems to be the kind of um, good size for me um, again really nice nice to have add on there are loads of cool um, presets now you can download custom presets um, but I haven't done that so if you want to explore that further then please do let me know if there's any cool um, cool designs um, again big debuffs doesn't really do anything for how my UI looks so I'm not going to cover that I'm just covering purely the aesthetics um, so now these are all the um, kind of add-ons that are used to kind of customize how how my screen looks and um, how everything's done I'm now going to go over my interface settings because this UI is a minimalistic UI um, I don't like loads of stuff on my screen I'm, I'm quite particular um, and you know if you're like that then this UI is is going to be great for you I've spent quite a bit of time going through various things um, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the graphics I'm going to show you what my settings are just so you can see and then I'm going to go through some of the interface options and then finally I'm going to show you how I've edited the new um, UI settings in World of Warcraft so all my settings as you can see um, 
render scale 100 percent i have put anti-aliasing on i've maxed all these out because my graphic card can handle it um obviously my fps is low here but this is a really populated server i'm in a very very heavy populated zone but i play with all these on very very rarely experience any sort of fps lag um if ever unless there's like a hundred people on the screen at once and we're killing a boss so otherwise i play with everything like this uh, sometimes i lower it down but um yeah if you want to copy these settings i will obviously timestamp everything in the video so you can see uh what i'm playing with but i also stream so i have uh, the my graphics like this so the stream looks looks nice um UI scale is important. If you set it too large, you're going to, it's going to look like that, okay? I set mine to 79 and I try and keep everything, you know, in like um, uh, a nice, nice place. Um, so, interface, um, action bars, you can see, I just play with uh, them. Um, interface, here's what we're, uh, what we're going to do, so. Um, just so you can see so um nameplates always show nameplates i play with larger nameplates which is what you can see um enemy units uh, i don't show minions i show friendly nameplates um i play with flash of aggro loss uh, display in-game navigation and raid frames i pretty much display everything this is important if you want the different colors uh to appear um when you are um running around um also show debuffs um show only dispellable debuffs is nice to have if you are a healer so um also display health techs i put none um that's fine you can obviously have health percentage health remaining that is completely up to you um i am fine with the way it looks um combat wise guys i have um show personal resource this is because i'm a druid and i like to see how many uh, combat points my target uh, has on them so enable this um and then put this and then enable this to show the combat points above um above the target's head i will show you that um in a moment um otherwise that is pretty much everything for the interface um i think the next thing that people are probably curious of at this point is how how do i get my bars to look like this uh what have i done it is different it might not be the best way of doing it but um i found this is probably the most customizable um now what i am actually going to do is just show you um what obviously my screen looks like because i do play with weak horrors and i am going to show you that uh, momentarily so um so this is what the damage techs look like uh just to kind of show you um yeah so you know all kind of very very clean you can see all the dots above as well um and i do have a weak aura here which actually tells me when apex procs so i will share all my weak auras um in the um in the uh in the description below guys so finally the final add-on that i'm going to recommend people get is weak auras um because there is so much you can do with this add-on i am a absolute noob with this um but i have two things uh that i use so first of all i have a health bar here which is that and i just prefer that because then i've got my health in two place at places i know you can have a different one but i like how that looks there and my eyes are always around here on my damage cd so i'm constantly looking um druid hot so this one for example is really nice so uh what i do here is if i press shift one shift two shift three you can see that um all of my stuff uh sorry all of my hots uh are there and if i do regrowth so you can see how long the hots are um are going to last but you can get um voodoo for this which is really good um that's also a noteworthy mention if you're going to play healer 
and then someone just left seems to be the story um of uh the season so far really um anyway so as i was talking about my weak auras um i do have several um which are really important so i have one that alerts people when um alerts me when people are drinking in the arena i have another one that tells me the uh length of time on my um druid huts now there are various um various of these i just like it in the center of my screen because i'm not a healer and it's just a nice to know um also my health bar which is down there um and apex predator when this proc on my cleave build so i know when to buy it's just nice to have in the middle of my screen so i will share all of these all of the settings um i will share the codes of the weak auras um last but not least details guys i have literally just the default details and i've moved it into that corner i've not customized it in any sort of way so just to let you know if you want this look do get details too so finally the last thing that i'm going to show you guys is the edit mode so where have i got everything how have i set everything up so this is basically how i have everything set up so as you can see i've actually got the action bars like this so the settings for the action bars are horizontal two rows 12 icon size of 90 and icon padding of two now what i am probably going to do here is oh as you can see this is so what you will notice is that this can be really really tricky and they can sometimes overlap so when you're moving these around trust me when i say you will have to play around with them um because there seems to be some sort of um cell disparity when you move them around they seem to like lock sometimes i'm not sure why i haven't um figured out why they do that yet um i i have no idea so um anyway um everything else so guys as you can see i've just moved it around um as such so arena frames here underneath my combat text um i think they're debuffs i'm honestly what is this yeah that's a debuff bar uh the main thing like i said is these these are the uh, settings for my stance bar too if you're a warrior druid rogue whatever these are the settings i play with um yeah so you can see i think the main thing is here um now personally i think this is the best way for me i've got all the spells i need to know on here i think most classes should be able to fit all the main spells here they can add in another bar if they want to but that isn't for me um target and focus bar here um just so you can see some people like the buffs on top i don't because it overlaps here so i play with the buffs on the bottom um, otherwise guys everything else is literally the default UI I do like to have these invisible um, too so just to let you know so you will save and exit and you will notice that you can't actually see them now I do think in uh, when I click that um, can't actually remember how I made them invisible I think it may be something in SUI uh, do, do, do um, Casper action bars, general action bars, maybe back buttons. Yes, yeah, so I've shown mouse over. These are the settings you want. So that again keeps the UI looking nice, keeps everything looking clean. Um, I hope this guide is helpful, guys. If you do have any questions, please do um, do ask. If you've got any recommendations on add-ons, which is going to amplify this minimalistic look then please do let me know uh, but if this video has been helpful and you use the ui please do post it in the discord show me maybe tweaks you've done what class you're using if you're using different week cores, how you've set them up to look um with this ui but anyway anyway guys i hope you have a um a great day a great christmas um and a great new year so thanks for watching